Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually fix unloaded textures within Fortnite. So like these rendering issues where your textures are just not loading whatsoever. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Like it's extremely annoying. I'm going to be giving you guys some hard truth in this video and also providing you with some methods, which for the most part will help you just get rid of this issue on the whole. I did receive a ton of comments, people were asking me to make a video on this. So you know, I always like providing you guys with exactly what you want and that's what I'm doing today. Today. If you do go ahead and happen to enjoy this video, the least you can do for me is drop a like. Again, it takes two seconds out of your day, and guys, it helps me so much. Like, you don't understand. You can even do it now. Just please like the video. Like, I'm begging. I'm literally begging you guys to like the video. Now, but in all seriousness, I only like the video if you do go ahead to enjoy it. Maybe just wait to the end. If this helps you, you can then drop a like. And if you want to go the extra more, you can also subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on. Therefore, you never miss an upload just like this. And yeah, without further ado, let's stop the long intro. Let's hop straight into the video. Quickly before this video starts, I'm just gonna kind of insert, I forgot to record this at the start. I'm just gonna get my editor to put this in before like I actually mention some of the methods. But so you all know, a lot of these unloaded texture issues actually come down solely to your graphics card. I know it shouldn't be the case at all right now, but Fortnite is at its worst state. Like it's so poorly optimized. It's getting harder and harder to run and more demanding. So if you do have a lower end graphics card, I can assure most of you guys with these issues, these unloaded textures actually do have a GTX graphics card. GTX cards are only being deemed weaker and weaker weaker and depending on what card you actually have they're usually fairly low end and yeah the harsh reality is basically your graphics card is probably the reason you're getting these unloaded textures so before I get a ton of comments like this do not work this do not work it generally could just be your GPU but I can guarantee that this video will at least help okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually over my desktop now you can see that the first thing I'm going to do is show you some things you can do within your game user settings your actual Fortnite files which will help stop this issue so some things to do with your graphics and ways to cap your FPS in certain ways so this does in a car so what you guys want to do is go down here and search in run it should say app right here if it does not come up you can just search the following thing in this search bar right here but for the most part you guys will want to go into this run application once you are on here you want to search up percent local app data percent and then press ok drag it over to my main monitor here and what you need to look for here is fortnite game so i'm going to go into fortnite game here go to saved config windows client and you should be able to find this game user settings file you guys know how to do this by now i'm sure you do and in my last video i had a ton of people who actually could not find their game user settings file for whatever reason that is now i'm not sure why that is the case i guess it's just because you haven't installed it correctly onto your pc so if you guys are having issues with that you can always go over to your epic games launcher click on these three dots right here and what you can do if you really cannot find the folder is actually uninstall fortnite and then reinstall it when you do this you can actually select a directory and know exactly where it's been installed that should help you navigate to the folder but just make sure if that is the case you cannot see this and you do need to reinstall your game to actually get to this point you will need to run fortnite after uninstalling just therefore the fortnite game folder is then automatically created sounds a little bit complicated but basically if you don't see this folder you can't access it i suggest you just reinstall the game just so you know exactly where it is and you can follow the directory but yeah assuming you are now at this point you want to actually go to properties so just right click this go into properties and untick read only for most of you guys this will be ticked so yeah you want to untick that press apply and then press ok some of you won't have that ticked but just make sure it's unticked if you do open up your fortnite game folder bring it over here and now there are some things you want to change so you want to scroll down until you see this right here which is frame rate limit now what you want to do is make sure in your game user settings that this number right here is set to your monitor's refresh rate now i'm sure you all know your monitor's refresh rate if not you can go down here to your search bar search in monitor go to display settings scroll down to see advanced display settings open this and it will say your refresh rate right here so mine does say 144 hertz so i do have mine capped at 160 because i do not get this issue whatsoever and 160 is usually recommended for those with 144 hertz refresh rate because for the most part that is usually the highest most stable and most consistent frame rate people are getting when using 144 hertz so i do have mine on 160 but this video doesn't really tailor to me because i do not get this issue but trust me if you do have 144 hertz just change this and cap dead on your refresh rate so if you have 60 hertz which i'm assuming a lot of you will have you just want to cap dead on 60 trust me it will help if you really can't bear capping at 60 even though literally you're viewing your game at 60 fps basically i guess you can go higher than that the highest i would go is around 100 
100 and I wouldn't move from that. Usually the rule for this is, as I said, usually you want to cap out the highest and most consistent and stable frame rate you are getting and you kind of want to limit yourself to the values you're using. But I don't know, honestly, if you're 60 hertz, I would go between 60 or 100. Preferably type 60 into here. If you are 144 hertz, use 144. And I don't know, if you have any higher than that, for whatever reason, you are getting unloaded textures. Like I can't see how you would, but yeah, I guess just do 240 if you do have a 240 hertz. And moving down, you should see scalability groups. Now these settings right here, these values, you want to copy these exactly. So yeah, literally value for value. You want basically all of these on zero. These are the lowest settings you could possibly use. This basically means your game, your GPU, which is actually the reason you're getting these unloaded textures. It doesn't have to work as much. You'll basically benefit more performance from this, which can basically help minimize this issue. And also the reason we have our resolution quality set to 83 instead of 100 is because 83 is actually equivalent to 1600 by 900 resolution. So now Fortnite native resolution is actually 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p quality. Now basically what we're doing here is force downscaling it to 1600 by 900, which is 900p as I already mentioned. Now doing that makes your game still look very, very good and it's still playable. It'll give you a performance increase, actually boost FPS as well as helping fix this issue. It means again, your graphics card does not have to work as hard. It doesn't have to render as much pixels and this is really good for stopping this issue. And the good thing about actually changing your resolution quality down here, instead of actually tampering with your resolution, is because if you are using stretch resolution, which bear in mind you should be in this day and age, like just Fortnite right now, it's hard to run. If you're using a stretch resolution, basically you get a performance increase. So if you're not using one, you're kind of at a disadvantage. But yeah, it means basically if you are using a stretch resolution, a custom resolution, you can also still downscale that little further and you won't have to manually change your resolution to 1600 by 900 in the actual game. Like your game will load up already downscaled. So yeah, make sure you do copy this value right here. And yeah, once you guys have done that, you want to go to file, save, and then you want to right click this, go to properties, and then make sure in your attributes, your properties right here, this is ticked and just make sure read only is ticked and then press apply and okay. And now you can exit out of that. And now still sticking with graphics related things. What you guys want to do is type in graphic settings down here. I can't spell, but there we go. Graphic settings. And you now want to create a graphics performance preference for Fortnite. So what you want to do is press browse right here. And you basically just want to follow this directory right here, right at the top. So basically wherever Fortnite is installed on your PC. So mine is on my C drive, probably the same for a lot of you unless installed anywhere else. But yeah, it's on your drive. You want to go to them Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries and Win64. It shouldn't be too hard to find. When you're here, you want to click Fortnite. Fortnite client dash win64 dash shipping. So it should be the top one. You then want to press add. I've already added mine as you can see. Once it's added, it should look like this. You want to click options. Now you want to make sure this is set to the highest graphics preference, which should be the bottom one. So mine is high performance. That should be the same for you. So you just want to click that and then press save again. I've already done it, so I don't need to do that. But yeah, basically what this means now is that your Fortnite is running at the highest graphics performance, which means your graphics card is working a little harder for Fortnite. And it basically just ensures more performance onto your game out of your GPU. For example, if you do have this lower on either system default or power saving. Your GPU isn't working as hard for Fortnite and it can cause us unloaded textures. So yeah, that's the reason you set it on a higher performance. So now what we are going to do, we are going to now tweak some things within Windows, tweak some things on our general systems. So this isn't exactly dedicated to Fortnite, but it will help. So we're going to change some things in our Windows and this should also just benefit like system wide performance. But what you guys want to do is go down to your Windows icon at the bottom right here and right click this. You then want to find system, click onto that. Now you're here, you want to scroll down and so you see system info, click on that. Now you want to go to advanced system settings and where it says performance up here, you want to go into settings. And when you are here, you want to select custom and your visual effects and basically make sure the same settings here are selected. So realistically, smooth edges on screen fonts, like show windows, like you don't actually need these ticked. For the most part, this just works best and still makes your windows look good. So for example, I actually like seeing thumbnails instead of icons on my file explorer. So I do in fact have this ticked, but I guess realistically, you could actually untick all of these for the all round best performance have all of these unticked but I don't know if you care that much I guess you can just copy exactly mine and only have these few ticked but yeah once you've done that you want to press apply and okay you can now just go off all of this and now the next thing we are going to do is actually make sure our power plan is set correctly so what you want to search up is power so just down here in the windows search and go to edit power plan you then want to go back to power options here and now I actually have my own custom power plan which I actually got through a guy called Lurid shout out to Lurid he does great FPS boost optimizations and you really did help my PC. So I have my own like customized power plan, which is super optimized. Like no one can really get this. I can't leak this unfortunately to you guys, but I will tell you the next best thing. Now a lot of you guys are going to be either on balanced or high performance. Now you do not want to be on that. You actually want to be on a power plan called ultimate performance. So I'm actually not going to put myself on it because I don't want to mess anything up and I do want to stay on the power plan I'm 
using as it's just the best for my system but i will show you guys right now how you can actually get onto ultimate performance like as you can see i don't have it and you guys probably won't have it on your list either so the way you can actually get that would be to go into cmd right click this and run as administrator and now when this opens you actually want to input a command here which is basically going to allow access for your windows to actually get this ultimate power plan so the command you actually want to input here would be this command right here i'm going to actually put it down in the description so you can copy and paste this and basically just paste it directly into your command prompt now i'm not going to enter this because i do not want to mess up my current power plan as i said but what you want to do is put this command in and then press enter and basically once you have done that you actually want to reopen your power options here because it won't show straight away you may also want to restart your pc if it still doesn't show but it should show now you want to go to edit power plan again go back to power options and now you should see ultimate performance you basically just want to select that and that's literally as simple as that now your pc is running at the ultimate performance and no power is being saved and nothing like that your windows is now running at its all-time best and now the last and final thing there is to do is actually to clear your temp files so if you go down to here go back into run click on here and such a percent temp percent press ok now basically all these files in here you do not need these are basically just scrap files which are on your pc and use so much storage and just they actually do take a lot of performance away from your game like they don't need to be on here so yeah what you want to do is just select all of these like the entire folder and just press delete now a few of them actually won't delete because some reason they actually open on a program on my pc right now so unfortunately they just won't delete for i don't know why really but this video isn't about that you just seen how much deleted from here and yeah that's just cleared up a lot of storage on my pc and may i mention that this temp folder does fill up so much so i do recommend you guys actually do clear this temp folder and delete everything within here at least once a week to keep on top of performance and yeah guys that is now it you can now go ahead to restart your pc i always recommend you just do that after making any big changes like this like you did just apply a ton of new things so if you haven't already restarted your pc on that power plan thing right there i do suggest you do it now just so these changes 100 percent do take effect and yeah guys that is it hopefully i did help you you now should load up your game and it should look completely fine like you should have no issues now if this video did help whatsoever you even just got to this point in the video the least you can do for me is drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but yeah that is literally it i hope you guys have an amazing day been your boy fetch and yeah